Okay, here I'm going to show you the differences in the stinger hooks. First one we have here, the loop is dipped in a vinyl material and it's designed to be pierced by your hook and slid over the barb and it's held in place that way. Uh, if you walleye fish on the Detroit River in the end of March and into April, you know how cold it can be. And I believe that material uh, is just too stiff to work with. And particularly when you want to take it off. When you take it off, you've got to slide it back over that barb. Now once you've done that, you've created an opening in that vinyl that's too large or bigger than what you need for that stinger hook to stay on your jig. Same thing goes for when the uh, fish is caught on that stinger hook alone. Just fighting the fish back to the boat is going to stretch that material out and it's again the hole is going to be bigger than what you need for that hook to stay on your jig. Also um, how that hook hangs like that. I don't, I don't like that. I like when the hook is standing out on its own. It's going to stay out of the way of the bait. It's not going to interfere and it's also not going to hang up on the bottom. Second one here is a little clip design. It's made to be uh, pierced through the eyelet of the jig but once again when it's cold out there uh, you are usually going to have to have a pair of needle nose pliers to get that off and in my opinion I think both of those are too short for the baits that we use on the river and also I believe that those two designs are the main reason most people don't use stinger hooks uh, simply because they're just difficult to work with. I'd like to show you this one here this is a quick slip stinger hook I'm going to show you just how easy it is to rig the baits. Um, here we have a bait everybody knows, it's the wind out worm. On the longer baits, we're going to put this on the main hook. You're going to cinch it down, puts that hook right there at the tail. When you want to change your bait, retie, it's as easy as grabbing this sleeve. You're going to back it off, remove the hook. When you retie or change your bait, you're going to put the hook right back on. You're reusing the same hook. You can take the same hook and you want to change your bait to a smaller profile or a shorter bait. You're going to put the loop on the eyelet of the jig. Same thing, you just cinch it down. You can see it stays in front of that curl tail. It's standing out on its own. And again, ease of removal. You're pulling that sleeve, taking it off. I highly recommend the use of a stinger hook on the river. Your percentage of fish in the boat will go up dramatically. A conservative number for me and my boat, I would say about 75 to 80 percent of my fish are caught on that stinger hook alone. Use the stinger hook, your catch percentages will go up.